In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create some great looking featured images for your WordPress content. I'm gonna show you how to make them quickly and easily using a fantastic free tool. The tool I'm talking about is of course Canva, which is my go-to graphic design tool uh, right now. You know, forget Photoshop, that's far too complicated. Canva is easy, it's fast, and it's free. Now, although Canva is free, there is a pro version available. I'm a subscriber to it. And I think it's excellent because it brings in some extra features. The best one being a stock photography library, which is kind of essential when you need to create featured images because you probably haven't got all the photos that you need. Um, so using stock photography is kind of inevitable. Great thing about using Canva though, is that you can add filters, you can do you know things to the stock photography to make it look a bit less stocky. Now I'm gonna put a link up to Canva now in a card and you'll also find a link in the description. That is an affiliate link. So if you do sign up for the pro version, I will earn a commission. Um, but yeah, I do think it's worth it. And I do really appreciate it if you use any of my links. Uh, yeah, it really helps me out. But anyway, I think that's enough intro. We're gonna jump on the computer right now and I'm gonna create a featured image for a bit of content that I'm about to publish. Let's go. So here we are, we're in Canva. Let me show you how to create a featured image for your WordPress content. Now the size of the featured image is gonna vary depending on the theme you're using. But as a rule of thumb, I think um, a dimension of something like 1050 by 500 is probably gonna work for you. So if you come up to create a design and then select custom dimensions and then you know enter your dimensions, as I say, 1050 by 500 is a good kind of size. It's a you know a rectangle landscape kind of rectangle size. It's perfect. Now with Canva, you do get loads of templates, although I don't think they actually have one for featured images. No. So uh, yeah, don't worry about the templates. Although you could customize them, but you know, I think we can do it from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. Now the featured image that I'm doing today is for an article that I'm about to publish on my pressure washer site. And the article is uh, the best pressure washers for boats, okay? So I'm gonna dive into the photo um, area. You can see I've been looking at pressure washers. And you are gonna need a pro subscription for this, um, or you're gonna to need to go to your other stock photo provider, whoever you're using, and, and get the image from there. But I just love using the Canva um, library because it's you know it's there. You don't have to open up other websites. Just search from uh, within Canva. So let's do a search for a pressure washer for boat. In fact, look, oh, I've already done one. So I'll bring up uh, my recent search. And yeah, here we go, we've got a few options. Got that guy there, he's he's cleaning pretty well. I think that one that one might work quite well actually. He's not on a boat, that's not gonna work. And they're more kind of generic pressure washer images. Um so let's go for this guy here with the with the boat. There he is. So I'm gonna make that uh the right size. Doesn't matter if I crop a bit off, we can see what he's doing. I'm gonna move it up to about there because I wanna put the text in this area on the right. So there we go, let's add the text. So um, I'm gonna go to text. Of course text is optional, it's, it's up to you, but I think it really makes the featured images look good. So yeah, just scroll through, have a look, see what you fancy, what's gonna fit with the uh, look and feel of your site. And there's loads to choose from. If you just wanna start with one of these, that's fine too, and then you can adjust it, but you know, I think. Choosing one of these is a good thing to do. What have we got? Wow, look at all these. Um, I quite like that one. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it right um, aligned and that other text too. Type in my text, so it's uh, the best pressure. Washers for boats. A little bit too big, so let's just uh, drag that down or resize it by grabbing hold of the corner. I think actually maybe a little bit wider might be better. 
even wider maybe. Let's put it along the bottom here. A little bit smaller, again, just drag down the corner. Perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the text white. I think that'll make it stand out a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna change this Angelo Brewing to um, a buyer's guide. That's what the article is, a buyer's guide. There we go, still can't really see the text. So if we come up here and go to effects, there's this lift effect, which kind of makes it stand out. We can increase the intensity. I'll do that on the other bit of text too. There we go, we can kind of see it, but I think just to make it look a little bit better and lift off this text, I'm gonna add a filter to the image. And again, it will make it look um, less stocky. So click on the image. I'm gonna go to uh, effects. We've got all these effects in here. I'm gonna go for one of these duo tone ones. So let's take a look at them. We go cherry. Now that's looking good, isn't it? I've got the fuchsia, the pop, violet. I think the fuchsia's quite nice. And well, there we have it. I think that's fine. Uh, that's our uh, feature. I mean, could maybe. I don't know, does the text look better like that? Maybe. And the day it's up to you to play around and get it looking as you want. Maybe a little bit more squashed. No, I think I think wide is better. I think wide is better. Like that, and a little bit smaller. Perfect. So in order to export it out of Canva, so it's ready to upload to WordPress, simply go to download, select JPEG. You can adjust the quality to uh, reduce the file size, around 70 to 80, it's probably about right. And click download. And then you can download it to your computer and then it's ready to upload to WordPress. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you created a fantastic featured image for your WordPress content. Let me know how you got on in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I will try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not a subscriber just yet, why not become one right now? Just click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, if it helped you out in any way, please click the like button. That really helps me out. But until next time, I'll see you later.